So uh, we're on a cruise. So as soon as you step on board, we're just gonna do the muster station drill now. That way we can relax and get sailing quite quickly because I'm ready to hang out with my wife, kiss her, hug her, get some drinks, get some snuggles. Tap the like button if you love snuggles. Guys, look at that beautiful California port. I was gonna say bay, but I don't think we're in the bay. At least not anymore. What you looking at? Look how pretty that is. Oh wow guys, take a look at this. The promenade. Ooh. Ah. Alright, so what is the plan right now? We're gonna go to the cabin. Okay. Put our stuff down. And I don't know what after that, but I kinda wanna go see our room. Alright, let's go check that out. So guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name's Griff. That's Alyssa. She's my wife. We're going on a romantic couples cruise out of California yeah. on a navigator of the seas. And well, we've done this cruise before on the East Coast, we figured we'd give it a try and check it out, see what it's like on the West Coast. And so far, it's pretty good. So we're headed to our room, feeling a little bit tired, a little bit jet lagged, as you can imagine, for traveling from the East Coast to the West Coast. West Coast is three hours behind. <sighs> but yeah, so, but if you're new, I would encourage you to smash the thumbs up button if you find anything in this episode helpful. And, if you like cruise content or you just like travel content in general, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would absolutely mean the world to me. And just drop a comment in this comment section below and say hello. Hey, our luggage is here. Awesome. Let's get this party started. Woo woo. The room looks like a room. So, for those of you that don't know, we are now diamond, which means a couple of things. We get snacks in the room, which you get that when you're emerald, but we get four drinks per day per person. Correct. So those can be mocktails, those can be cocktails, they can be just coffee, soda, coffee, soda, just just part of the reward system, the loyalty program that Royal Caribbean has, and uh, that's that. But let's take a look at this room. It's really nice. They've updated the color since we've been on the Navigator, which was what, 2019? Yeah. We did have a balcony room, but it looks different in the colors. Look how pretty it is. It is very pretty, guys. Check out these curtains. It's like Virgin Voyages, but on the blue spectrum. It's got like a green to blue ombre. It's very pretty. So I want to show you guys something. We have an extended balcony and <laughs> the table. Whoever built this table, you were off by an entire inch. Let me show you the table before I show you the balcony. So check this out. <laughs> Guys, look look at this thing. You see that gap? <laughs> see that huge gap? <laughs> wobble wobble. Can you guys see that? It rocks back and back. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, just can't, eat breakfast here. can't eat breakfast out here. Gosh, look at that view. You just got to love the sight of cranes. <laughs> Oh man, it does suck that people don't take care of people's stuff though. It looks like someone's been lighting cigarettes and inside of the table. Uh, I guess that means we might have to call it into Royal so we can get a new table. But you know what? Who am I kidding? We're not going to ask for a new table. We don't care that much. But <laughs> I do wish people would take care of other people's stuff. So take care of people's stuff, especially if it's not yours. Come on now. I don't know if you can hear me or if you can tell, but a lot more people have showed up for the cruise. It's party time. So guys, we have a surprise announcement for you guys. We booked a cruise. Surprise. Surprise. Um, but no, special shout out to Rose. You guys know the drill. If you want to go on a cruise, reach out to Rose at wildlandtravelgroup.com. She will set you up. She's part of the family over here at Paradise. And I hope you can hear me. It's windy. I don't have a wind mic anymore. So perfect. It's gonna be interesting on this cruise. Perfect. Alright guys, so here's the deal. We're actually about to sail away. Actually that's a lie. We're sailing away right now. And I'm gonna show you guys those beautiful views of the California coastline. It's absolutely incredible. And I've already had my first drink. The passion spritz is absolutely delicious, and I'm gonna highly recommend it. So the very 
first place we are going for dinner on our romantic cruise is the Windjammer. Sounds fun. The Windjammer. Nice. This is a first for Griffin and Alyssa. Um, also, we're in line for the Windjammer. Oh, true. We're here they're, early. They're not open yet. Not yet. That's <laughs> fine. Let's, let's wait until they're open. Nothing screams romance like Danza Kaduro <laughs> right before dinner. Oh, it's even open. <laughs> Smash the thumbs up button for that if you haven't already, man. Wow. Yo, so check this out. It's got some bruschetta, fresh caprice salad. Let's go. Okay, Royo. Okay. You got some bruschetta. Yeah, bruschetta. Bruschetta. I'm gonna get a giant cheese plate. I got a cousin named Bruschetta. Oh, of course. <laughs> Guys, do not sleep on the Windjammer. They have like your own charcuterie board up there. Like fresh prosciutto, fresh um, capicola and salami and other like sliced beef. Like it's good and it's this tastes really good. I already had some. Got a bunch of different assorted cheeses too. Like solid stuff. I'm not trying to hype that up. This cheese is good. And I don't do cheese because it blows me up, but this one right here. I got all of them. I'm coming back for that. Okay, team. Plantains, cucumber salad, roasted vegetables, shrimp, saffron risotto, garbanzo bean salad right in the center. I got a hot plantain. It's like Cuban restaurant good. You know, you know. It's good though. Alright guys, cruise hack I want to share with you. Come to the Windjammer and wait in line. Fresh hot food, like piping hot on the line. Specifically night one. Night one. This is this is a good little hack because you're traveling all day, most likely, and you're tired. You don't want to get ready. At least we didn't. So just wait in line at the Windjammer. And there's like no one in here right now. Yeah. When I say wait in line, you just wait till they open the door. There were like five people out there. Yep. But food's good. And you can essentially have a romantic dinner overlooking the water. Right. Guaranteed table. By the water. Cruise hack, baby. I got some dessert. And one reason I like eating in the main dining room for dinner the first night is because they have key lime pie. But you know what? They also have it here in the wind jammer. I also got the pear and blueberry cobbler, a bunch of fresh fruit, and a little biscuit. Alright, you guys can't see that. I'll try to get it with my iPhone, but there's a bunch of dolphins like There's a lot of There's a lot. That is really cool. What a romantic dinner with my wife. It is. <laughs> See, this really is a cruise hat, guys. You got, you got to try it. All right, so uh, dinner was pretty solid, not going to lie. But now we're looking for the Diamond Lounge to kind of just like sit down, relax, see what it looks like because we've never been before. I heard it's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to do now. See where the Diamond Lounge is. Where's Alyssa? Hey, I was looking for you. Looks like oh. you found the Diamond Club. I did. I think earlier I called it a diamond lounge, but you know, that's yeah. here, no there. I think it's kind of both. It's kind of both. Should we go in? Um, we can. There are other people in there. Go in, cameras blazing? Yeah. Let's do it. The Dia Ion Club. <laughs> So 
All right, so uh, Alyssa's dropping some knowledge bombs on me. What are you, what are you dropping on? What are you, what you telling me? So there's a, like a nice coffee machine. He's a magic man. He's a magic man. Uh, last cruise, we got a coffee card because we drink a lot of coffee, uh -huh. and it was totally worth it. Now we don't even need that because we can get coffee here whenever we want. And we have our four free drinks. There's also coconut shrimps. <laughs> Guys, that was absolutely fan freaking tastic. They had wings, they had spring rolls. Ooh, look at these. We have Royal Caribbean robes. Crown and anchor society. Feels like I'm in a royal cult. You want to put these on? I do, actually. I'm quite chilled. Let's put these on, <laughs> shall we? Okay. okay. We live in the Diamond Club, and uh... <laughs> and now we're going to put on our robes. Yeah, I think so, you Guys, today, cruise day started off horrible. A little bit. Awful. Goodness, we woke up at 4 a.m. for this cruise, and for you strong folk out there, I'm sure you've done it before, this was different, because we're from the East Coast, and then we drove over, drove over, we flew over, and then we got jet lag, and then we woke up at 4 a.m. and had to catch an Uber, and it took an hour to get from Napa mm -hmm. to what? The airport. The airport. And then we took a flight from San Francisco to L.A., and then we had to wait an hour before catching the next Uber. We couldn't find an Uber because LAX airport is monstrous. It was very confusing. Yeah. We were sent different directions for the Uber three different times, and then we finally found an Uber, and then you got a speed racer over here going 85 miles per hour in LA. It's like, what is going on? And then we get to the cruise ship and oh my gosh, everything's nice and pristine. But that, everything leading up to getting, I swear it's like that sometimes. It is. It's like starting your cruise off is just hectic, the travel day itself. Mm -hmm. But it's, but it's worth it once you get on the ship. Once you get here, it's lovely. Yeah. Once you get on the ship, everything is good. But, guys, as always, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you're here, please share. And we'll see you in paradise. Peace. If you like spritz, it's one of my favorite drinks for sure. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I caught it. Look at that view. Wow, wow. All right, guys, I think Alyssa's napping right now. She can't see me, but I love you. I love you. Ah, she's not sleeping. Uh, I like to be sleeping. <laughs> what are you up to? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> what the heck are those? Everybody's completely shocked. They're like, what the heck is that? The president just showed up. Like, like, I'm not kidding. Is that Eagle One? Roger, Roger, Eagle One's here. Come on out, Joe.